Hey, it's Shanti from Bamboo Leaf Tea, and I wanted to do a video because I've been getting so many questions. Um, a little bit about content of Bamboo Supplement. Uh, now that Bamboo has kind of gotten out there a little bit as far as the medicinal properties, there's a bunch of other companies that have popped up and things like that. And I've been getting a lot of questions about what's in the supplements. And while I don't like to comment on anybody else's products, there's been a lot of questions about like the coloration of the supplements because some supplements are white, some supplements are brown, some su supplements are green. And so from the best of my ability, I have looked into a little bit about what other people are doing. And of course it took me several years to kind of research on doing it the way I do. The reason I called my company Bamboo Leaf Tea was because I use the leaves of the bamboo. But I can tell you this, that I have learned that um, the supplements that are white are coming from the comb of the bamboo. Now the comb of the bamboo is kind of like the trunk of the tree. And while there are medicinal properties to that, it's, it's much higher in cellulose and um, and I would imagine it would need to be processed a lot more because it's a much tougher part of the plant. So typically like when you do roots or barks or things like that from a tree, uh, it's something that you're gonna cook down a little bit more. And it's just a whole different uh, process of doing something. And, and also medicinal values are going to be similar, but a little bit different. So. I wanted to show you a little bit about the supplement that I make from the leaf. If you're buying a supplement, or the tea for that matter, that is made from the leaves of the bamboo, it should be this color. It should be a green color. Um, the chlorophyll content, and the, which is the green of the bamboo, is really high. And mine is really fresh because I make it regularly. Um, and the, I can tell you that if you let this sit out, even in the sun for a couple of days, it will turn kind of a, like a, it'll go to tan and then it'll start to lose the green and go to more like brown colors. So the supplements or teas that are brown are probably either sun dried or they've been sitting out in the sun or something that's leached out the chlorophyll content of them. Um, so that's another aspect of the coloration of it. Uh, if you don't refrigerate it or keep it away from light and heat, it will degrade and that's part of the degrading process. There are some other things that happen to the teas as they get a little bit older, they'll get a little bit sweeter. That's my tea because I've processed my tea and, and know how that's done. Other teas, I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know if they're just dehydrating it. I don't know if they're picking the leaves off the ground. I'm not really quite sure. So when you make the tea that I make is made with the intent of having this green color and having the high chlorophyll content um, and keeping that intact through refrigeration through the whole process. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that and talk about the um, coloration of the different supplements that are out there and, and uh, a little bit about the differences between the different products. And again, I don't know the exact process of what other people are doing. I know that in um, my experience of what I have done is that to work with bamboo, it, it needs a heat treatment in order to get the contents and the highest nutritional value out of it. And that's that was done through um, you know, two, three years of just me playing around and, and really trying all the different processes of doing that. And then consequently, since then, I've been working with it now for almost I mean, eight years, something like that, and, and really trying to get the minimal processing with the maximum nutritional value. And the, it just keeps coming down to bamboo likes to be heated. It has the high fiber content and it has a lot to do with everything is just locked down until the heat process opens it up. So in conclusion, I just wanted to say, if it's a leaf that you're buying the supplement from, it should be this nice green color. If it's not the green color, um, it could be because it's being sun dried or it's being highly processed or it is um, an older leaf or an older, older supplement or it's not being refrigerated. If it's a white supplement, then it's probably coming from the comb of the bamboo, which is the trunk of the bamboo. 
and anything else is kind of a combination of all those things. Um, could be age related, could be process related um, as far as what's going on. So I hope that helps answers a few questions. I've been getting a lot of that about what, why is my supplement this color? Why is that supplement this color? Um, and I hope that answers a few questions. Have a wonderful day and stay well. Thank you.